back and your best work is Hi guys, this tutorial is made for beginners and today I want to show you cool 3D tracking effects you can do in After Effects. Every VFX I will use in this tutorial today, will be in the description. Let's select your footage and click on Track Camera. Under the 3D Camera Tracker expand Advanced and toggle on Detailed Analysis. Once analyzing is done, scroll the video to find some good tracking points. I will select points on the car, select as much as you can for a better perspective. Then right click and select, create solid and camera. Now I will select track solid and 3D tracker and move it down right above my first clip. Also cut track solid to match it your clip you are working on. Let's toggle off track solid and bring our first footage that we are going to track with our clip. I will cut this footage as well to match it to my clip. Link looping ball to track solid and enable 3D on it. Press S on your keyboard to open scale and make it a bit smaller. Then correct X, Y, and Z and position it. It's tracked well and now I will add a glow on that ball. I will use Deep Glow plugin, if you don't have it, follow me on Instagram and write me, I want Deep Glow to get it for free from me. And now let's jump to another effect, a track tornado effect. To track tornado in a background, I will use track motion. Move track point somewhere on a dark spot, in my case this thing is black and well contrasted. Make sure to make tracking point a bit bigger, this will take a bit longer to analyze the video but, the results will be better. Click on options now, select RGB and toggle on adapt feature on every frame. Then click on OK and let's track it forward. Once the analyzing is done, create new null object. I will cut that null to match my clip. Now click on edit target. Make sure here to select a null we have created then click on OK. Now click on Apply and make sure Apply Dimensions are set to X and Y. Let's bring a Tornado footage now. Cut Tornado layer to match it to the clip you are working on. Link Tornado to a Null layer. Move Tornado layer somewhere behind the car for example. And once you are satisfied with it, let's make Tornado behind the car. Select your clip, then grab a Roto Brush tool and double click on your video. Roto brush the car as smooth as possible. Once you are happy with selection, click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. Under the roto brush set the feather to 10 to smooth the edges of the car. Now duplicate roto brushed layer. Click on bottom one and delete roto brush on it. Now move roto brushed layer above tornado and rename it to car only. Nice, everything looks cool and let's jump to another effect. Car exhaust flame effect. Select your clip and click on track camera. As the analyzing is done, select some points on the car that are close to exhaust, then right click and select, create solid and camera. Let's cut that solid as well to match it our clip. Now toggle off solid layer and let's bring a fire footage. Link it to track solid and enable 3D on it. Position it where the exhaust is, then change X, Y and Z rotations, also make it smaller to make it look realistic. Nice, I'm happy with my edits. Hope this tutorial was easy and helpful for you as a beginner. Don't forget to get my paid plugins for free. Like this video, follow me on Instagram and write me, I want deep glow, to thank you all for your amazing support, I will gift you my other plugins as well.